we can never catch a break. If you go back and you watch the video from earlier today, it will all make sense. We literally just made one of these. The NXT TakeOver figures that actually I had brought up during that video, they're going to be popping up here. And there has been mock, loose, just images that are going to raise some questions. And then also, one thing I want to do, since you guys love those shoutouts, I want you to tell me the fourth character that you think we'll be getting with this wave. Because one figure has been removed, and I'll show you why. Now, of course, the person that does get the most amount of likes on their comment will get a shout on future video. So right here, we have Andrade for one of the first. We got him with the NXT title. And now, the belt has been released in the past once. It might have been twice at most, but once with the Bobby Roode for sure. On the back right here, I'll show you. Down here at the bottom, Hideo Itami. He's the one. He's the fourth character that was supposed to be part of this wave. And I also want to give you my thoughts, too, as to which character would be replacing him or just you know some wishes i hope uh we get it here sooner than later because they're already they have um like debuted on the main roster now we'll, we'll get more detail towards the end Trotty right here yeah, it's gonna be based off nxt or you know what you could even use them for your smackdown roster he really hasn't changed his look much and he is also coming with the hat when you do take it off this is where the beauty of this figure is going to come into play man it's got the new hairstyle the earlier one that we did get which was a basic also nxt takeover the hair it was more of the earlier days where he kind of had part of the side shave this is kind of like the look that he's got right now and that massive massive beard knee pads right there you're getting the two uh fists the one that uh we showed earlier on the on the video from earlier today was the red and green so go check it out you guys if you guys missed that video oh man <laughs> it was a fun one to make but now you see my frustration from it all now also Roderick Strong, and no, this is not from his Undisputed Era run, but it really doesn't make much of a difference because you guys do recall that set. Well, let me show you. Let me show you Mach, and I'll show you Loose, and get it, I'll get more detailed. The back right here. Here's Roderick Strong. Now, what you could do, and this is a simple fix-up. I mean, most people, I'm sure you already thought about this, but you know, it's cool that we're getting a cloth good right here. We're getting his uh, actual jacket from his singles run prior to him, uh, you know, being part of the Undisputed Era. But what you could do is take it off, right? And just go ahead and get uh, one of the shirts from either Bobby Fish or Adam Cole. Any of the three would work. And it is going to mask most of the trunks. So, I mean, yeah, it's it's an easy fit in. It's going to be just a, a nice final piece to add that, you know, to get the whole uh, gang round up. Also, Titus O'Neil, you can almost apply this for him as well. Because for Titus right here, yeah, he's coming with the NXT shirt. But uh, what was it? Uh, it was the Fan Central... Oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank. I know there's there was a Titus Worldwide shirt. Let me know in the comments, you guys. I'm sure uh, you guys can think off top of your head. But uh, there has been a Titus Worldwide shirt. You can just add that to that to this one as well. And if they are trying to do the pose, this is the... <laughs> Mattel, what's going on? All right, if you're going to do the... Ur, 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 shouldn't the hands be facing outwards, man? I mean, I'm just calling you out because if you're posing, if you're trying to go for that pose... Why aren't you throwing that in there? So the set right here, this is only three out of the four. I think Mattel right now, they're still trying to figure it out as to which is going to be the final member because otherwise I feel like this wave should have already been released. Now for the final fourth member, actually, it's not going to be one. I think, uh, you know, it might have been the very first Elite Wave, you guys, but I think it was five characters and the NXT set. It could have been four. I'll have to go back and check it out. But make it five characters. You know, I mean, the regular Elite Wave, you are getting what? Uh, six characters and all, and then you're getting the Chase variant. Make it five. Make right here the Viking Raiders. These two need to be put into the wave ASAP. We don't want to wait any longer. Look, they're already on the main roster. So this we should have already gotten them in the NXT TakeOver wave long, long ago, man. Like, they've already segmented themselves in NXT history. And wrestling history in general is one of the best tag teams ever. Their attributes are incredible. The accessories that they could come with, I mean, if you're seeing right here from these customs, yeah, you can throw in the hat, you can throw in the sash, you can throw in just a whole plethora of different stuff. Obviously, you know, that's more of an Ultimate Edition Elite, but still, come on, at least put them into the wave. I don't care if you get entrance gear or not, I just want these ASAP. But let me know what you guys think, how you guys feel, what figure do you want to see being included into this final wave? Because these right here, man, <laughs> I want these now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one.